All right, hello. Um, I'm going to put some makeup on my face and I think that I'm going to use this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, uh, the oil-free one, natural skin perfecter. And this is in 0W1 Pearl. It did not used to go this light. This is one shade lighter than the tinted moisturizer went previously. Um, <laughs> we'll see if it's light enough. Okay, uh, but first I'm gonna do some eye makeup and um, yeah, slightly weird mood, but at least I have a, a modicum of energy, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, I think I'm gonna use Painterly. Am I gonna put uh, music in this this one? <laughs> uh, choices, choices. So I used this palette yesterday, and I think I would like to use it again today. Uh, you know, I love Josie's Place. They're pretty much my favorite eyeshadow company brand. Granted, I don't try a huge amount, but of the like ones available at Ulta, etc., uh, my favorite. And they're so nicely priced. Okay, so this one's called the Nomad, and it's got a very like autumnal vibe going on, which you know I am here for. These are my kind of colors. I mean, look at the sweatshirt I'm wearing. Clearly. I like olives, I like swampy greens, I like yellows. Oh, I'm gonna go in with this kind of like, it's like kind of a desaturated mustard. And now that my hair is uh, purple, I have a little more flexibility of colors to use that won't look completely strange. Because when I did this uh, palette with like leftover teal hair, it looks strange. You know, things are gonna look different on me than some other people due to my pale countenance. This one, I love, I love a green brown. I'm curious how this is gonna work over that yellow. Cause that yellow is strong. Hmm, now it just looks like a different color of mustard. Interesting. Okay, so I got to figure out what I'm going to put on the lid and that will kind of give me an idea where I'm going here. <clears throat> this green is kind of an interesting inclusion because it's almost a little cooler than the rest of the colors in here. I mean, not almost. It is quite a bit cooler than the rest of the colors in there. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll stick that in there just because I've got that like super duper warm situation going and see what happens. Maybe I'll kind of tone it down a little bit. A little bit more of that green that I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good combo. So I'm gonna do the darker shades on the inner and outer corners, outer thirds, inner thirds, third, and then uh, that shiny gold in the middle. Because I really, even though this is pretty dark, I really, a little darker than I tend to use, um, just because, you know, pale when you start busting out the nearly black shades you know it's it's a look so this is really pretty kind of takes the edge off of the um, pretty strong colors in the crease too like okay calm down a little bit all right now I'm gonna put that shiny gold in the middle I will say that this uh, that shade does have a lot of it's it's tends to kind of fly fly around so I'm sure I'll have a fair amount of that uh, shade and follow on my on my face okay so I'm gonna clean up the fallout yeah Now I'm sparkly under there too. Sorry if I'm like way down here, especially for captions, because then the captions are like right across my face. I'm trying to get the camera. What is back there? Oh, freaking washcloths, man. <laughs> Never ending battle to keep surfaces clear. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the tinted moisturizer. 
I'm using quite a lot, which means I have a chance of actually getting the amount of SPF on the bottle, on my face. So it is SPF 20. This has such a particular smell to it. It's not like scented. I like really smash it into those little scars. Um, I've tried a sample of the tinted moisturizer in a darker color several times trying to convince myself that no, no, maybe it will work. Um, and I really enjoy the formula. I feel like it's, it's one that my agrees with my skin and my skin is like real picky and uh, a lot of stuff does not react well with my face or the things that I put on my face. But this one, even though it has, you know, like light coverage, I can apply with my fingers and smear it around without it like settling into my pores in a strange way, which is quite unusual for me. But the color is not great. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to use all of this. Too much. My face cannot take a lot of base. You know, as, as you get older, I think most people's skin is not gonna carry like really thick layers of stuff like uh, some younger younger folks can. Like those people on, you know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, just like sticking some sort of foundation stick and like, like no way, no way. If I tried to do that, it would look horrifying. Horrifying. All right, and so just trying to pat it on the flaky parts because of these are, a disaster no matter what I do with them but the the just because I mean putting any sort of base on flakes is just it's never good right, I'm gonna blend down my neck a little bit not a ton just just a bit because it is um, pretty warm toned and uh, Pretty, pretty different from the color of my neck. So I'm gonna put on some, oh, what do we call it? Concealer, this is NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, which how can this still have product in this tube? I don't know. How can it still be good? I don't know. I like this because it's not super pale um, and it's a nice formula. So when I'm dealing with a base that is a little dark, it's an option to be kind of lighter but not too, too stark. It does, for me, it oxidizes a bit as it dries. Yesterday, I used the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, but this is, you know, got a little bit of a tint to it. This is already too dark, so it definitely look darker. So I'm going to use a setting powder that's either white or doesn't really have any color transfer. And I will use, I think, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath my eyes. Just to kind of keep a little bit of that dewy look is this ancient Guerlain Meteorites pearls that I smashed. just because it has a nice finish. It's got a little pearl to it. And it also is pretty good for me at uh, setting, keeping makeup from doing weird things. And it's not dark. See that almost lightened a tiny bit? Just a tiny, tiny bit. All right, so let's finish eye makeup. Um, I think I'm just gonna take the darker color all the way around and then maybe just plop some of the shiny shade on top because I don't really feel like it's worth it to try 
to doing the individual placement, I don't, I don't think it really matters. Shiny shade. Do I want to put it in the inner corner? I guess. Try to be light. Take a light hand. Tight line and waterline. I think what I'll do is these billion dollar brows. Um, these two are billion dollar brows. No, billion dollar billion dollar beauty uh, they're little pans that you can buy like at Target and uh, this one's in Raven waterproof brow colors and this one's in taupe um, so I think since my hair is dark at the moment I think I'll just use the Raven shade and then if that's looking too cool I'll go in with the taupe to kind of warm it up a little um, these do hold up really nicely to sweat. Big, big fan of these. Mascara, I'm going to use L'Oreal Luminous because I finally found it again. It's missing in action for a while. I did a pretty uh, major-ish cut myself here. Took off like two, two inches, um, just to get all that bleached hair off. Continuing to find little bits that did not get cut right. <laughs> I haven't used this in a while. Butter blush in Plum Rose. Oh, but you know I have hit pan on that Too Faced blush. <laughs> the tiny hole is getting slightly bigger does kind of make me want to continue using it. Using it. Lower lash line mascara, maybe eyebrow. I thought I heard a child banging on the sliding glass door. But no. Where it could all go awry. I think I'm gonna use this Tarte um, Exposed lip paint. Uh, I had a sample that I really liked and then it's like oh yeah they don't sell this anymore but Ulta still had some of the little mini kind of like birthday gift sized formula super drying it's the quick dry one but I like this color aside from the drying issue. Uh, I like the formula. All right, so that's a cat. That's it. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'll see you soon.